Good morning, artists, and I just wanted to share the lesson with you for today. So I'm going to go over here to classwork. And we're already on home learning week six. So I posted some resources for you yesterday to just uh, introduce you to the project. So we've got the project instructions, we've got resources, we've got our day one written work, day two written work is going to be there, and then we'll have our reflection and project submission for Thursday. So the project instructions, you click on that one. Just kind of my reminders that these projects should be worked on for three days or for one really long day. So I'm looking for completed drawings and this week what we're going to be focusing on is either something from history or something that's very very modern but we're going to look at animal hybrids. So we're going to start by looking at the schedule. So this is always provided for you guys to just kind of keep you on track if you're not sure what you should be working on for that particular day. The pictures are, are loading, so I'm just going to scroll down. Um, so I give you the daily, the daily work, kind of some tips about composition. And essentially what we're looking at is animal hybrid so you're going to be creating a unique combination of at least three different animals so you can think about things from history you can think about things from video games you can think about animals that you that you like and trying to just create your own new combination so i've included some of the most famous images of these animal hybrids from the world and throughout history and what you are basically doing is looking at these and you're going to answer some questions for the, the daily the daily reading just to get your thoughts going. But the whole goal is you're creating your own unique animal hybrid. So all of the questions that I'm asking you in, in our written work is really just you getting ideas to combine an animal in a totally unique way. You could start with something that already has been created before. Uh, and, and use that as a basis and then change it. Or you can start with something that's never been done before and just pick animals that you like and, and combine them together. So unfortunately this stuff is taking forever to load, so I'm sorry about that. But what I want you guys to do today is of course go into Google Classroom and do the, the lesson and the written work. So there's images for you, there's some questions that, that just guide your thinking. And then you're starting to come up with your ideas. So maybe you're going to sketch a few ideas. Maybe you're going to ask yourself some questions, like how would I change this animal? Or maybe you're going to just do a little more research because you're not there yet. You don't have your ideas yet. So ultimately, you're, today you're trying to come up with the interesting combinations for animals you want to draw. You're going to draw some sketches. When you have the idea that most inspires you, now you're going to start thinking about the, the composition and planning the, the basic contour, which is the outline shape. So, and again, you're thinking about composition. So for composition today, you're trying to think about, are you taking up the entire paper? And you should be. So your animal can be huge on the entire paper, or maybe you're doing a, a really close up on an important feature of the animal, but again, it's taking up the entire paper. So you're always, always thinking about composition. And then tomorrow you're going to be focused on using texture. So if this is a combination of multiple animals, you're going to be using texture to create um, how that animal would feel. So maybe different parts of it have, have a different texture. So we're going to look at some textures. Um, tomorrow I'm actually asking you guys to share a link to help everyone else in the class find resources for texture. So there's so many different textures out there. There's so many different ways to draw texture and to access other artists drawing texture. So I'm asking you guys to actually post in the comments a link that you found that's really good to help people create animal textures. So it could be a website, it could be a video, but some resource that, that you're sharing out. And then we're gonna reflect and we are going to ultimately submit our work. So that's pretty much what we're going to be doing for this week. So those were the instructions. 
the resources that that I gave you are just some really cool websites that I found that have some of the mythical creatures that have already been around so from around the world and just some really really famous ones some ancient ones and then just some tips so if you are drawing um, an animal and you need help what you should do is look up how to draw that animal and remember you're combining two so you might have to look up how to draw a fish and how to draw a goat and how to draw a bird you're combining three so you're you need you might need to look up three different animals and then you're going to follow those steps and ultimately end up creating your own drawing so i really look forward to seeing your work and if we can really get this google meet to work hopefully we get into um, a routine where I can see your work and provide you feedback in real time. So right now, I'm not sure how all the settings are working, but it's, um, I think you can only see my screen at the, at the moment and I can't see your screen. So I'm not sure about how that is all going to work. But if you do want me to provide feedback on your project, what I'm gonna ask you guys to do is just you know, send me a message during our class time in Google Classroom and then, and then we'll figure out how we can do that. But I really look forward to seeing your creative animal hybrids. And I, I can't even tell you how impressed I am with all the work that, that has been coming in so far. I've been putting together videos of the work that you guys have done. I'm working on the symbols and the view through my window right now. But as soon as I have those finished, I'm gonna post them for you guys so you guys can see each other's work. And it's really impressive. So I'm, I'm really thankful that you guys are doing such a great job and I really look forward to hearing your comments and seeing your work. I hope you guys are having an okay time doing this at home learning. I know that some of you guys are liking it and some of you guys not so much, but this is how it's gonna be until the end of the year. So any suggestions you guys have for me to make this better for you, just definitely let me know. Okay, I'm definitely flexible and, and I want you guys to enjoy this class. I want you guys to not feel overwhelmed or stressed by this class. So just definitely reach out to me. So I will hopefully hear from you guys either today or tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.